Hello, my darlings, and welcome back to the last video on my channel for the year of 2019. Um, I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas or a whatever holiday you celebrate around this time of year. I hope it was a bloody good one. I had a lovely time. I've been chilling out for these past sort of week or so with my family and everyone around me. And it's been bloody lovely. It really has. Uh, I promised you guys that I would get a video out before 2019 ends. And this is it. This is the video. Uh, happy New Year, everybody. It's New Year's Eve as I'm recording this. Um, I hope whatever you do, whomever you are with, that you have a bloody good time. Um, I'm staying in. I am being a complete and utter bore. And I'm staying in on my lonesome because my other half is at doing a night shift. And it's just going to be me and the dog for New Year's Eve. And do you know what? I am happy. I'm happy about that. I cannot wait. I would have preferred if the other half was at home with me, but I would I couldn't think of anything worse than being out um yeah, gallivanting around the streets on a new year. It's just not for me. It is just not for me. But anyway, we'll talk about that a bit more in a minute. Welcome my friends to the Furs. The Furs is a kind of modern rustic kind of approach to an alpine house can we say or lodge it's more of a lodge it's got two bedrooms easy enough to make into a three bedroom as well if you did house a bedroom down it where the garage area is i wanted the garage area to have like this kind of slope going down into it underneath the ground and then the rest of the living quarters all on top kind of stacked up on it i got inspired by a picture that i saw on pinterest um and I was just like, that looks perfect. I'm going to build that. I didn't do any Christmassy builds this year. I wanted to do something a bit more just wintry with a big winter vibe, but still hitting my favorite kind of modern edge. And this is what I came up with. So I do hope that you like this. I, I really enjoyed building this lot. I really did. I say that with a lot of builds, but this one here, I don't know. It's just, it, it's came to me very easily the actual inspiration now I will go ahead you've probably already noticed already I'm using a tad bit of CC in this now it's only CC windows and I use the kitchen stuff pack from Felix Ander and hey Harry or Harry um um, that's the only pieces of CC that I will be using in this build. Now they are completely free. You can get them in your game if you so wish. I would definitely recommend putting this CC in your game because it is astounding and I'm in love with it. It's the windows I always go to use. They are from a creator called Mutsk on the Sims 4 resource. And obviously my friend Harry and Felixander uh, have made the kitchen stuff pack. Um, not, yeah, it is a stuff pack. And... I had to. I had to for this build. Main reasons being I need those windows to have that kind of pointy edge at the top and no other windows do that apart from the CC ones that I found. And also the kitchen. I, I actually built this whole place and I got to the kitchen. Well, not the whole place, but the majority of it. Got to the kitchen, had a look through all the kitchens that we've got to try and fit in with this house and none of them were speaking to me none of them matched in the wood tones were all off they had horrible yeah you know you know the deal with the kitchen stuff in the sims 4 it's not good so i had to go to my favorite kitchen cc stuff pack of all time may i add and flop it in this build and it just really suits it so yeah you can i've leave links down below in the description box for all the cc used in this build so you can put it in your game if you do download this off the gallery make sure that you've got the the custom content um option checked so it, it does appear up on my gallery page but other than that, I think that you're going to love it. Well, I hope you are anyway. If you don't, I don't really care, but <laughs> no, I'm joking. But um, but yeah, I had a I had a real good time trying to figure out the layout to this house and just just figure out how I wanted it to feel. I wanted it to have a kind of Scandinavian edge to it, but using slightly darker woods with Scandinavian kind of um houses and decor what i usually see is very kind of bleached timber sort of white timbers and really light timbers with lots of yeah you get where i'm going with it you know what scandinavian style is like and i just wanted to take that a little bit more with this one so i 
shuffled it around a bit and made it a bit my own. Now the roofs were a little bit of a pain in the ass, may I say, to try and sort of figure out what I wanted it to look like. I went through several sort of looks and feels for this house until I came up with the one that I really liked. And yeah, and I'm so happy I got to use this new stone detail that came with Oh, my brain's just done a brain fart. What did it come with? Did it come with university? I think it did. Yeah, it did. Uh, it came with university. Um, so I had to use it. I had to use it and it just fit in with this build so perfectly. And I really wanted this build to be in the snow because I wanted it to be winter. But you will see all the details that you won't get to see because the snow blankets it. Like the big glass uh, ceiling above the kitchen area, for example, and yeah, just various other bits. I love the snow and the Sims 4 I do, but when you are building something and you spend a lot of time on it to get all the details right and then snow just covers it all. I just wanted to make sure that I got that in there first before you didn't realise that it had a glass ceiling. You will realise that it's got a glass ceiling because it's there. Look at it. It's right there. It is right there. But um, I hope, you, I hope you've all had a good 2019. I know 2019 has been quite a controversial year for a lot of people myself included it has been a year of a lot of learning i would say we're going to delve in now chat chat i'm calling you chat and we're going to delve in now to what 2019 was like <laughs> for me we're well, not but i'll just go over it quickly i i had a good year i did i had a lot of kind of personal growth from 2019 i think i think i kind of I don't think you ever know exactly what you're doing in life. I think it just comes to you quite naturally. But in 2019, I decided on a lot of things that I did want to change. And I'm slowly starting to do that. And I'm actually reaping in the benefits from it. I really am reaping in the benefits. Um, and I think as the world as a whole, I think 2019 was a, a very crappy year. <laughs> I will go ahead and say it now down to lots of things. I'm not going to go into it too deeply, like politics, blah, blah, blah. You know where we're going with it. It's been a bit of a chaotic and crap year for that kind of thing. But I hope 2020, we are living, we're going to be living in the 20s. I like saying that. It makes me feel all dapper. Like I could just go out in a flapper dress and some pin curls and watch a show. <laughs> but um, you get where I'm going with it. I want 2020 to be a year of big, personal spiritual growth for me and I really hope the same for you guys as well I really hope that 2020 is a lot better year if you had a shit year in 2019 um then yeah then it was um and that's all I've got to say on the matter so we're gonna leave that at hand <laughs> so what I'm doing now with the landscaping is getting in some detail with the rocks and ferns and stuff that I knew I really wanted to have in this particular a house. Now this is on a 50 by 50 lot as well so it may be pretty difficult for you to place this in other worlds. Um, I know there are a few 50 by 50 lots around but to what I would do if you wanted to do that if you didn't want it to be in Granite Falls which is where it is is on the 50, 50, 50 by 50 lot in Granite Falls and it is in the, the National Park area. I love building modern houses on that particular lot. I just wish Granite Falls had more lots. I really do. And I don't know, more lots with denser trees and stuff. I would have loved to have seen something like that. Um, but yeah, so if you do place it down somewhere, maybe you could just change the trees. I know there's a 50-50 by lot in Willow Creek. You could just change the trees around and not have like the alpine sort of pine-esque trees Littered around the joint, you could put in some more weeping willows or whatnot. And I think it would still fit in perfectly. But I really wanted this to be in th this world. I just felt like this build would suit that world perfectly. And that's what we've gone and done. So we're into the interior. So you can see a lot with this lot. I A lot with this lot. I do pre-grab everything out and kind of pull it into the house. Because I really wanted to get a plan of how things are going to look. Now... Do not pay attention to this dining room table. This dining room table actually moves into the kitchen. I just felt it was just a big tight squeeze in this like really lovely walkway going through. And it kind of, yeah, I didn't like it. And underneath the stairs, it's a kind of a little snug. It's not the main living area. This would be the main living area that I'm doing now. 
Now I had to shuffle the sofas uh, in gameplay as well because they, it was just too close to the table. It doesn't look too t close to the table to me, but the Sims weren't using them. So I, as always, I do play test all of my lots to make sure that they do work for you guys when you download them off of the Sims 4 gallery and only the Sims 4 gallery. Um, and it works. It works a dream. It works a dream. Even though my Sims, I put like full autonomy on while I was trying to sort of get video footage of the video tour and everything. My Sims literally set fire to the house about three separate times. And then a witch came to visit. She used the outside fireplace that is on one of the balconies that kind of, I'll show you in a sec. And she set the house on fire as well. Now there was no reason for them to do that because nothing was where as close. The, my sims were playing around with the campfire outside and yeah they set the fire set the house on fire and i couldn't make them extinguish a bench for some reason it was really annoying so yeah maybe be a bit careful it's flammable but don't worry it has got a fire system in here as well so a sprinkler system sorry so yeah do, do not worry about that if it does catch fire it will be put out in a jiffy <laughs> but um but yeah this area just looked a little bit too cramped with that dining room table in um, we do flick in between going outside and coming back inside. So this is the back area where you saw me doing the pool. Um, and what I did was put a hot tub and that down there and used these dine out dividers to, just to add a really nice bit. They come to life at night. They've got two lights in them and it just shines up the wood. And I love the way that they look. Um, so, um, yeah, that's, that's what we did. That is what we did with them. This area here, the Sims weren't using it. They weren't able to get down that little step there. So I actually have to go in and put a step on it. So that is also uh, fixed as well for your Sims. So they do tend, they do actually go down and use the hot tub and stuff now. I've made sure that they they do. I've made sure that they do. And also ignore this kitchen that I'm using because this was when I was like, nope, we're not using CC for this build. We're going to do CC free um, apart from the windows. Um, and in the end, I was just like, no, these wood tones are all clashing now. Like the were the floor, the, the, it just wasn't, I went back to it with fresh eyes and I was like, that looks so hideous. Let's get rid and start again. And I actually use a concrete top from the kitchen stuff pack. Um, and it just fit in perfectly, fit in perfectly with this actual build. And I love it. Love it, love it. Now, I did put two sun lounges out here. I was like, eh, what ones do I want to use? I was trying to like sort of match in the woods and stuff and sort of figure out which ones to use. I end up going for these ones. Um, no, I don't. I end up going for these ones. I was just like, do I? <laughs> I was like, I don't think so. It looks hideous. I just used the... I'm pretending that these are made out of wood. Lovely carved wood. Even though they're probably cheap ass plastic. Um, we put these just on the outside. And obviously that would only be used in the summer. This is kind of a winter lot for my winter-esque theme. Um, but hey, if your sim wants to go out and sunbathe in the snow, let them treat themselves. That is all I'm going to say on the matter. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, adding in some outside lighting i use a lot of these lanterns on the outside as well mainly going up the pathways just to really kind of give this ambiance to the place itself and i enjoy it i really as i said i really really enjoyed like playing around with this lot i really did and figure out what i wanted to do oh also sorry i completely forgot there is one more thing that i've used um that bifold door there it's not usable what i had to do was use a three by yeah, I think it's like a four tile wide arch that will be in the, with the windows that you download if you do use the CC. Um, and I found this creator that created these bifold doors. So what I did was put the bifold doors on the wall. They're only decorative. And then I put up the arch itself. Um, and what that did was just made, it still gave inside lighting on the inside, but it made it look like the bifold doors have kind of been pushed up. I will also link that creator down below. Now, my, the name of it escapes me. I'm so sorry. I will put that up on the screen now just so, um, yeah, this person here. This person here made these beautiful, it comes with a few pieces actually, if like a few glass architectural pieces and they are absolutely gorgeous. I wish that they were kind of usable. I wish we had bifold doors in the game, but we don't. Um, but I actually found this and I'm in love with it. I'm absolutely in love with it. And it looks so cool. I just think it looks really natural and I like the way that it opens. Um, so yeah, I was lying when I said I used two creators. It turned out to be three, my loves, but um, I like them. Look at them. Gorgeous. 
Um, so this is the outside fireplace that I was going on about. Nice little dining room table on the outside as well. So in the summer, you would be able to push those bifolds back and have a big indoor outdoor living, which I just, I love that. I love that. I'd love that myself. Um, I haven't got that myself. <laughs> Main reasons being I live in a Victorian uh, terraced house. So yeah, it's, and we're not going to be here forever. It's not a forever home, I don't think. So spending money to put bifo doors in now. No. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. We just did a bedroom in that whole time that I was talking about that. Um, so yeah, that was one sort of guest bedroom I put downstairs with its own bathroom. But the access, the downstairs, the downstairs actually has access to this bathroom as well. So it's not just an ensuite. Um, and I kind of preferred it that way. Now I do go around, I put two sinks in um in this bit and I was just like that doesn't make sense um being a guest bathroom so I actually modify this bathroom off of camera and get rid of the one of the sinks one of the mirrors and kind of do a little product shelf thing on one side which yeah it's not too bad it's not too bad now this is the upstairs mezzanine master suite you can see I pushed the bed into the wall just to hide the actual warm tones of the wood that I didn't want to be used and then I hung up some curtains around it with some fairy lights etc etc just to uh yeah hide the bed hide the bed mainly and just bring that kind of style into this almost like a tumbler-esque bedroom which I kind of enjoy and it's got its own little like sort of walkthrough dressing suite and its own big bougie bathroom with its own fireplace as well so amazing but I'm going to end it here now my friends Thank you so much for supporting me in 2019. I really, really appreciate it. Um, you guys are absolutely amazing. I'm so lucky to have such amazing people around my channel and in this community. I feel very lucky, very blessed. Happy New Year, my friends, and I'll see you in 2020.